It's getting late. Where's he now? He finished the gray sky route in 12 parsecs!
who I am. This big diamond, it's all yours! <laughs> <laughs> I'm on guard. Choose me strike. I'm okay. Luck of the draw. Please and victory! Time to go!
The Wafu is famous for its mung bean soda. You've got to give it a try. Wafu is famous for its mung bean soda. You've got to give it a try. High end barge, the best choice for galactic commerce. Oh, how's it going? Did you take some time off? See any more of the Sienjo? Isn't that the place on Auramali over an exalting sanctum? All the foodies go there. What about it? Planning on treating me to a feast? commercial street in the Exalting Sanctum, although it's a lot quieter since the whole Stellaron crisis thing. Tourists fresh off the Starskiff always head to Starwatcher Avenue in Starskiff Haven. It's one of those bustling tourist streets. But if you want the real deal on local snacks, you Whenever I'm tired of Celestial Jade or slacking off, I head over for a bowl of Granny Chen's tofu. The Wafu is famous for its mung bean soda. You've got to give it a try. Best choice for galactic commerce. Welcome to our humble eatery. What can we get for you today? Oh, something from Miss Tingyun for me? Oh, oh, what a precious person she is. Oh, a sweet thing like her gifting me a kitchen knife. When she first ate here, I told her my motto. You can't better your own food unless you taste it. <laughs> then she got me to talk about my hunting and cooking experiences out on other worlds. She was captivated. She pestered me about dish after dish. At the end, she mentioned she wanted to get me a gift. A sword for a hero and a knife for a chef. <laughs> That's how she put it. She probably came across some rare mineral and forged it by hand. <sighs> Look how sharp it is. I bet it cut straight through a Thalassa Titanium Terrapin shell. <sighs> Miss Tingyun is too kind. Who among the Aram Ali vendors hasn't been spoiled by the generosity of whistling flames? Her grand fair puts small merchants like us in touch with big intergalactic vendors. If we're talking gifts, it's us who should be gifting her something. Oh, I heard the trade port is open again for business. Miss Tingyun must be real busy, right? This... This is real, right? <laughs> the monster you mentioned, where did it come from? I wish... I wish I could take this knife and 
cut it to ribbons. <sighs> Forget it. Matters like these are beyond the control and understanding of a cook like me. <sighs> Thank you, all of you. Let me... It was our chili oil beef awful stew that first attracted Miss Ting Yun to our restaurant. I can't believe that she'll never taste it again. It's getting late. Where to now? The Sleepless Earl. Was that the name of that tea house at the port when we first got into town? here. The name's Ming Ming. How many of you are there? Which tea would you like today? Oh! This is... This is the tea Miss Ting Yun promised to get for me. She really went to another world for me. She's incredible. When I took over this tea house from my parents, I thought I'd shake things up by creating a new tea product. Famous brews like Whale Tide Spring or Vegetations in the Alchemy Cauldron have been around for millennia. Miss Ting Yun came to the tea house when I just thought she was trying to cheer me up. <sighs> Miss Ting Yun. We found this box of seeds among her belongings. I'm sure Miss Ting Yun would have liked for you to have it. Thank you, all of you. I think I should give something to Ting Yun in return. Based on her suggestion, I improved the Whale Tide Spring, Emerald Hills, and Don Dew strains to make a new variety with a sweet, long-lasting taste. I called it Ting Yun's Blend. Seeing as Ting Yun won't be able to try it, we should drink a cup to her memory. About that bow, I think I know who Miss Ting Yun intended to gift it to. Mr. Yen Ming said an Ami Cassiter will return with a gift for a trusted colleague. The person who Ting Yun trusts the most is Madame Yukong, right?
No match for me. Looks good. What brings you here? This bow. Did Ting Yun pick it out for me? She understood my pain. It's a shame I can no longer do anything for her. Thirty years ago, I fought in a terrible war. My comrade and I set sail together, but only I returned. The scars of that war never truly healed. Still, the Law Fu traced out its arc of recovery and continued to trade. I felt tired of voyaging. Like I'd lost the courage to pull on a bowstring ever again. I hid away in the Skyfaring Commission and buried myself in work, never wanting to see the sky again. Despite rising to Helmmaster, my military career hadn't prepared me for the type of meticulous planning work now confronting me. Ting Yun, on the other hand, was a born merchant always discussing business matters with me and offering up advice, even if she was my subordinate. She never fought alongside me on the battlefield, but in her own way, she became a comrade in arms. Without the help of Ting Yun and the Guild, the Law Fu would not have been able to recover in the space of just 30 short years. I used to think that the Xian Zhou had changed with the times, Geniuses like Ting Yun were the future for the Skyfaring Commission's next generation. They would bring prosperity to the Law Fu. I was only ever suited to the flames of war. I was wrong. Only when the last minions of the Antimatter Legion are wiped out, will I become useless to the Xian Zhou. 
The Sienjo needs people like me. Those willing to cruise the sky and fight the flames. The Star Skiff is ready for the ceremony now. Everyone, please place your objects aboard the Star Skiff. Wait! Wait, wait for me! Miss Ting Yun prepared a gift for me. As a fellow Amakasador, I cannot fail to honor our custom. Yan Ming, what is it that you've prepared? I... I've brought a paper kite. I know it may seem simple compared to the precious items that Ting Yun gifted others in the past, but... It has a deeper meaning. I heard that Foxians have a tradition where paper kites are used to comfort the souls of pilots who can no longer take to the skies. Ting Yun and I were never pilots in the strictest sense of the word, but we spent much of our lives out among the stars. For her to be able to take wing once again would make her very happy. If you're ready, please select a few. Paper kites are often gifted to children. Hmm, out of all this stuff we've got, what do you think we should place on the star skiff? This time, we needn't compete. Go. Fly on to other distant worlds. Thank you for everything you've done for the Skyfaring Commission and the Loa Fu. This small seal is the foundation of the Xianzhou's prosperity. The tea that Meng Ming has made, especially named after you. This is a gift from Miss Yen Sui on behalf of all the restaurants on Arum Alley. You're going to love this. The Skyfaring Commission shall never forget you, Ting Yun. I will seek out the truth, and if it is discovered that you were taken from us, I swear to avenge your unjust end. It is time for the soul-soothing ceremony. Please make your way to Earthrise Agora in Starskiff Haven. It's getting late. Where to now?
General, the ceremony is finished. You should take a rest. Not yet. I have things I wish to convey to my Astro friends. My apologies, I couldn't get to you any sooner. Yen Ching made sure that I was fully recuperating it. Before you leave the Law Fu, there are two things I wish to gift the Express. What, two gifts? Has his conscience finally gotten the better of him? Is he going to make up for all our hard work along the way? Please, let us reconvene at the seat of divine foresight. I once held the same ceremony on the Fong Hu, some 30 years or so ago now. Once I finished handling the various tasks at hand, I want to aid the Cloud Knights in their investigation. So they also hold. It's getting late. Where to now? What is your purpose for entering? The present company is gathered to reiterate the Sienjo La Fu's esteemed gratitude for the magnanimous actions of the Nameless. I am sure Lady Fu has given voice to this already, but the La Fu is greatly indebted to you. Therefore, on behalf of the La Fu Cloud Knights, I hereby present you with a Jade Abacus, a symbol of our allied friendship. Back when the Alliance was first established, all those thousands of years ago, the Sienjo ships swore an oath, etching the record into a jade abacus. The world may crumble, and the heavens may fall, but this oath shall never be broken. The same is true of this jade abacus. It is a record of the Law Fu Cloud Knight's promise to the crew of the Astral Express. It is also a beacon. Grip it tightly, and it will send a message to the Jade Abacus here, in my hand. No matter how astronomically distant you are, the Law Fu Cloud Knights will always come to the aid of the crew, whatever your need may be. Wow, now that's what I call a payoff. <clears throat> of course. I trust that such an important article will not be used for trivial or inappropriate circumstances. I hope you can understand. Yep, got it. Say no more, sure thing. Thank you for your generosity, General. Don Hong. General. In accordance with the Edict of the Ten Lords Commission, I am hereby authorized to relieve your banishment decree. From this day henceforth, you may come and go freely on the Law Fu. Nice!
But I must remind you that the crimes of Don Fung have had far-reaching implications. And some people, such as those in Scale Gorge Waterscape, will not be much moved by the issuance of a paper edict. While I can guarantee your freedom to come and go as you please, I cannot guarantee your safety. Again, I hope you can understand. I understand. This issuing of gifts brings with it a sense of relief. Even my wound is feeling much improved. The occasion calls for a line or two of poetry. Um, though I feel my efforts would be overshadowed by the erudition of Lady Fu. Another time, perhaps. The Express and its passengers have a long voyage ahead of them. May that voyage be smooth and untrammeled. <laughs> I bid you farewell. Oh, hi. I know we haven't got the chance to get acquainted, but... I've heard a lot of good things about the crew from the General. I have to say, I'm very impressed. So soon? Ugh, I wanted to help the General, but things didn't- Also, I have a rather abrupt- After fighting Don Hung, I feel like my skills are lacking somewhere. I'm worried that he still holds some grudge against me. But to be on- Safe travels. Himiko messaged me. The Express detected the Jade Gate's reopening. She asked whether we'd be heading back anytime soon. She was also asking after you, Don Hung. I think it'd be best if you update her in person, don't you think? She must have been worried. I'll return to the train and put her mind at rest. Himiko must be eager to hear about what we've been up to on this mission too, right? Uh, hang on. Oh, how could I forget? We should bring something back for the conductor. Have you got any unfinished business on the Sianzhou? Oh yeah, there are some people we haven't said goodbye to yet. Fine, fine. Don Hung and I will go back to the Express. The two of you come back soon, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Yang.
Safe travels. May I ask? How? We've been so busy running around in circles, we haven't gotten the chance to say good... Who should I go to first? The Master Diviner? Jingchu? The Miracle Doctor? When I left the train, I only had time to say I should go back and give her an up. Don Hung and I will go back to the Express first. You and Mark.
<laughs> Drop by the Realm Keeping Commission. Old registration always takes forever. Oh, so you are. And these would be... Miss March 7th and Mr. Yang, I presume. <laughs> That's right. I'm the first one. He's the second. We're here to help. March, try not to sound too excited. We're here for work, remember? Oh, you're the one getting excited. Oh, my first detective case. Finally, my intelligence and wisdom have a chance to shine. Miss March, Mr. Yang. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Make yourselves comfortable. It, one moment, please. Jing Yan! Give me the photos! <sighs> coming, coming! Stop yelling! <sighs> Thanks for waiting. These are the outworld uh, travelers who were sighted in the location specified by the General and the Master Diviner. This was two days before the Ambrosial Arbor came back to life. We'd like you to take a look. Do you recognize any of them as a threat? Let me take a look. Hmm, so these are the suspects. Uh-huh. Hmm, I see. What's wrong, Mr. Yang? See anything fishy? Who's he? I'd like to see more information on him. Which one? L let me see. I thought we talked about copying people. I don't have any concrete evidence, but I think he's worth checking out. Oh, him? I remember him. He's a traveling merchant. He trades throughout the universe. Knows a thing or two about remedial arts, too. He registered himself on the Xianzhou as... Uh, what was it again? Locha. His name is Locha. That's right, Locha. He came to the Xianzhou with a huge box this time. Some sort of funerary contraption. It had a funny name. Something to do with coughing? Yeah, it was pretty conspicuous. I had to ask him about it. Uh... Coffin. It's a tool that certain non Shenzhou travelers seem to use in death rites. I'm guessing our guests here might recognize it. Huh. I swear he said coffin. Anyway, we checked him out. His record on the Xianzhou is squeaky clean. As for this caffeine thing... Coffin. Yeah, yeah. Either way, it definitely had something to do with funerals. There are lots of travelers on the Lafu. Each with their own star system and death rites. I guess that must be Loch's line of work. Is there something up with him? Not necessarily, but I have my reasons for wanting to investigate. What was he doing in the days leading up to the Ambrosia? Hmm. That... Exalting Sanctum is one of the Lafu's crucial central cities. The higher-ups are very concerned about- Locha arrived on the Lafu a few days prior to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Up oh, I figured it out! The day before the resurrection, he appeared near the Ambrosial Arbor with a Stellaron! Oh, yeah! <laughs> you lot are enthusiastic, I'll give- The resurrection brought about unusual- We will. And so... If you feel this Lacha is suspicious in some... How... should I put this? Uh, Mr. Yang, you were going off of his appearance this whole time? I thought you had some super secret thing up your sleeve. Uh, didn't your mom ever tell you not to judge a book by its... Sorry. What I mean is... Hmm... <clears throat> it's difficult to explain. Apologies, uh, I realize this is personal spe- That's all right. Instinct is an important part of any Realm Keeping Commission investigation. Be that as it may, as an official, 
I can't go bringing- Because if a complaint led to his dismissal, it would leave a blemish on his resume. Make- Precise- No! What are you talking about? <sighs> Ugh, isn't it inappropriate for an author? Ah, not at all. Keep me updated on- We're thankful that you're- Don't worry! <sighs> Underst- This might take you some- Will of Preservation! I owe you two an apology. My speculations have gotten us in... <laughs> no problem. I did want to say something, though. Um... I don't... <laughs> gut feeling. Mm -hmm. As you know, there... That's why it's... However, in most cases, there... That's why the... <sighs> what are you talking... <laughs> I'm glad you believe in me. <clears throat> It's not that we distrust- Of course, we- I can bring up the data any time from here. Are you... All right, follow me. As official Dahao mentioned, the arbor caused unusual yin yang phenomena, which affect me. Lost a lot of video footage. Uh, so we have to clean up and. Exactly. Uh, this is your forte. Uh, hey, I said. Think. Any idea? Sure. Which one do you want to watch? Let me see if this order works. Hmm. Wocha exits the star skiff. 
enters Exalt, then he goes to Spare Time Bookshop, but doesn't buy anything. The logic in this is sound. Ah, nice work indeed. Your sidekick to it. Where does this corner lead to? I checked the map and found a gate. Why would he leave? I don't think Mr. Lordshaw could have departed from there. But that's why that gate is almost always... The key question is... I can find out, but you'll... Understood. Uh, hey, don't rush her. So sorry, Miss Chingyan. <laughs> Not to worry, I understand. After all, you're taking time away from your... Thanks for waiting. I checked all of the footage we have of- Are the corrupted parts recoverable? For some of them, maybe. Thank you. Did you- Hmm. Only that someone left the area through that exit around two hours after Locha's appearance here. Uh-huh. It isn't- Uh, the Angler Mystery! The novel! Now that you mention- Uh, I'm... Uh, the Angler's origin story, of course! He's a healer from the Alchemy Commission who gets on the wrong side of a mysterious organization called The Drug Has the Same De-Aging Effect as the Videoterus- <laughs> Their tea must be strong- uh, the Tea Society is just a code name! So, Mark- uh, What if a- Um, <sighs> the- Ah, uh, yeah! Hold your horses, everyone. Too bad, Marge. No D8. Uh, 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 detective's initial conjectures are bound- The Psycranes weren't able to get a clear- uh, I'll keep trying to recover the lost- uh, All right, let's go! Household registration always takes forever. <laughs> so there's someone still willing to chat with this old chunk of... Uh, Business hours aren't over yet. She should... Okay, let's... Uh, looks like Yin Shu isn't here after all. So she asked someone to look after the shop for her. Looks good. Uh, hey, mister! Are you manning- Huh? Young <laughs> Um, can you please- <laughs> Why sh uh, because we're asking nicely? <laughs> I can tell you. <laughs> Pay you? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Come on. No one ever tell you that information and it's- uh, This guy doesn't seem like the negotiator. Oh, you dare threaten me? The question is... <laughs> the Express Crew. Dang it. Am I in trouble? Ugh. Better to live and find another day. Ugh. Forget it. I'm not stooping to your level. Inchu said she had a voucher for a food stall over an exalting sanctum. Hmm. About time you saw.
Do you know how to fix a star skin? Are you Yinshu? The shopkeeper at Spare Time Bookshop? There's something we want to talk to you about. Yeah, that's me. Can I help you? You're heading back to the store, right? Let's walk and talk. I'll tell you all about it on the way- Oh, uh, okay. That footage... I remember that day. After I closed up the store, I walked around for a while. I was looking for a place to read. I found that empty area. It seems like a good reading spot at first, but then I noticed two people dressed in dark clothing and a blonde outworlder hanging around. Something didn't feel right. So you just happened to be going the same way. Mm, sorry, I was only trying to find a place to read. I didn't pay much attention to him. Or the two in dark clothing. All I remember is the two people in dark clothing... Uh, they smell pretty bad. On the contrary, any information you can get still, according to the Psycrane recordings, Rocha's final... My store? Spare time bookshop? You're sure he came to... Oh, that's right. I remember now he, he came in, looked at a few titles, and then handed one to me. An old paperback. Everything seemed normal, but after paying for it, he immediately tore off the title page. I was shocked, but he was grinning ear to ear, so I didn't dare ask him about it. After that, he just left the book on the counter and went on his way. I can't believe I'd forget something like that. I guess the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection the day after pushed everything else to the back of my mind. So, what was the book? The Angler Mystery. I was wondering what to do about it. I can't sell a book without a title page. But uh, since you asked about it... Uh, Mr. Yang's instinct was right all along. Lo Cha is a villain. How can he do this? Tearing up a book as well written as the Angler Mystery. Yeah, unacceptable. Calm down a moment, you two. I don't think... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're forgetting that the Realm Keeping Commission, the Hao and the others are probably... I think that by removing the page, Law Cha may have... I don't understand. Exactly. I think Law Cha may have friends... <sighs> that makes him even worse! How dare he use a... I'm afraid evil plans are... So is... Ah, that's more like it! New clues always turn up in the nick of time! Yunshin get to? I asked him to watch the shop while I use my voucher. He's often hanging around here. That crook wanted to cheat us. What? Of course. Uh, you two are in... 
That's right. Making mistake here. A little something. It'd be best if... Don't worry. We can keep a secret. Just make sure it doesn't happen again. Can someone explain? Ah, uh, what do we do? <laughs> no way! Hey, what are you? Hey, boss! Ugh, I... Ah, we've been ordered to change. Huh. So tell. Huh? Trying to flee? Ugh. Boss, just go then. What? Don Shu. She's the leader of the disciples of Sanctus Met. Sanctus M Medicus? You want us to join you or some? Y you guys must think you're pretty tough. Bullying kids like us out in the open? Time to throw in the towel, boss. They're playing for... Mm, I guess you're right. Y yeah Okay. the realm keeping commission so we now know what time Lorcha left the open area nice you yes according to this uh, strange I'm gonna stop you huh it's a shift I know my... <laughs> don't uh, how does he oh well I'm afraid uh, thanks for the help so what did Law Cha get up to during those missing two hours? I think it's high time Detective March to- Oh? And wh That won't be necessary. It's too early to start- <laughs> Well? Uh, yay! Miss- Ready? I'm gonna start my re- Okay, here we go. <laughs> You're coming with? Hmm, I'm keeping score. Alright, I'll be using the angler's deductive method. And... Uh, quit messing around, I'm thinking... Oh, almost forgot about that type. Uh, next up... But, Miss Jingyan... Uh, you think that would stop... <laughs> You think a lot? Ah, uh, fine. I Such a rudiment. Even if Lodcha was able to unlock the door, what was his goal? His villain friends must have been waiting on the other side to buy the Stellaron. He went to meet them. Ready? I'm... Okay, here we... You're coming with? Hmm, I'm keeping score. You're here too. Let's get this game going. All right, I'll be using and uh, quit messing. Or oh, almost forgot about uh, next up. But Miss Jingyan mentioned that game. Uh, you think that would stop? <laughs> you think a lot? Fine, I'll be me. Such a rudiment. Even if Lodcha was able to unlock the door, what was his goal? His villain friends must have been waiting on the other side to buy the Stellaron. He went to meet them.
now that I think about it, something's not right. Why would they rendezvous at a military airfield? Because, uh, well, we're too law-abiding to understand bad guy logic. Hiding in plain sight, perhaps. Hold on. This would have been too quick a route. And? What's wrong with a quick route? Ahem! What's wrong with a quick route, Mr. Yu? We're trying to uncover what Law Cha did during those two hours. But even if he repeated this route 20 times... Ah, true. He must have had a tougher... <laughs> ha! Your eyes are... Why is the monster... Uh, you know, it just... <laughs> Watch this awesome move! <laughs> Nothing major. Freeze and victory! Duh. these enemies doing on the Lafu? It's because... Uh... March, you don't have to add in combat scenes while you're figuring out where to take the story. Monster layers in black market spaces, uh, I... Uh, is it really so far fetched? Anyway, it's not like we're... Hmm. I, uh... I didn't expect this place to be so treacherous. I'll need to be on... I wonder, just who is the buyer interested? The buyer is waiting there. Time to head over. Plausible. <sighs> Finally! Mr. Yang of... Stop right there. State your business. No, that's Puar. The tea. Isn't Puar a type of tea? That's right. He's a man. Hey, I'm talking to you. Can you tell him to be. <sighs> Excuse me. Never mind. I have a. Del Delivery? Ah. I wonder if. That's. Take your time. Puar takes the page and goes. Boss, this is the one. He brought. The I'll be the judge of that. I couldn't think of anyone else to be Mr. Yang's boss. This is our boss, Startaro Bubble. Let's see. So what? This is the Tea Society, remember? Not before I see the money. I'm sure you undersave it. Sure. Easy now. The item in question is extremely dangerous. I'm not sure Pom Pom is the best casting choice for a. Uh, it, it, Puar, give him the money. Happy now? 
Ready to hand it over? Be careful. Danger. Yes, you will. Permanently. Puar. Oh, this was all going so swimmingly. Selling a dangerous item to me makes you my accomplice. When it comes to minor details, March can be very... Speaking of which, when did I turn... Uh, that's Puar's little secret. I... <sighs> okay. Huh. And there I was, thinking... Don't get complacent. Receive divinity. Choose me strike. Mm -hmm. oh, just come on. <laughs> Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Nothing major. Freeze and victory. Good. <laughs> Here! Watch this awesome move! Hit. The dead return! Repay! On guard. You try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. <laughs> Choose me strike. <laughs> Fights like these don't go unnoticed in Exalting Sanctum. And so Locha has to make a... piloting the star skiff. I'm not sure either. The pilot didn't show themselves, so... Uh, too many faces, too small a budget. March, as much as I enjoyed... For example, if Law Cha took flight... Also, 
the dock is last but not least. Oh, you're right. You know what? Time for that might be the best. Household rich. Drop by the Realm Keeping Commission if you need help. Excuse me, officer. We're looking for someone. <sighs> he's got blonde hair, and judging by the way he's dressed. A traveler with blonde hair? He saved all. Since when did we start sharing? Back in. We're. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. Would this blonde hair. <gasps> Mr. Lowe? Can I ask when this rescue. It was. That we were planning to thank you. Are you two. Oh, the people in dark clothes? Dark clothing? Ah. Uh, we. Wait. There we were, looking for a spot to practice our new routine. We found a place, eventually. <sighs> I lost my footing and slipped right in. My associate here, Forth, yelled after me, Don't panic! Forth's got your back! Two seconds later, he landed on my back. Unfortunately, the ditch was connected to a sewer outlet. We were covered head to toe in... Anyway... I assume that's why you thought we had dark- Ah, uh, no wonder Yin Shu said she had- Anyway, thankfully Mr. Lorcha was passing by and dragged us back to dry land. It took all his strength, I'll wager. A, A thousand, thousand things, thanks, kind stranger. stranger! Without your bravery, we'd never have gotten out of that ditch alive! <laughs> no, sir, that if you ever need anything, and it's with- Even it's- That's too kind of you. It was nothing, really. <laughs> Nonsense! Don't worry about it. You should head back- No, we can- Oh, one moment, both of you. That sewage could well contain harmful compounds. I'm something of a doctor. There you go. I don't know what to say, uh- Sorry to trouble you. <laughs> uh, we'll take our leave now. Watch your step. Wouldn't want to find ourselves in another ditch now, would we? Here. That's the prescription he gave us. A paper flower? It's beautiful. Did Luocha make this? That's right. He wrote down the prescription and folded it into shape. <laughs> A man of romantic sin. The paper looks familiar. <laughs> of course. We don't... Uh, we were planning on handing it over to the Realm Keeping Commission. We can take it off you. We'll let you know... Let me see. What is it? It's the title page of the Angler Mystery. The prescription's on this side, but on the back there's... Take a look yourself. The Immortal Spoiler? Ugh, some people just want to watch the world burn. I'm starting to think the Locha we envision doesn't square with a real one. Would a villain do a good- Ugh, So he paid for the book and tore off the title page to protect people from the spoiler. He must be a fan of this book too. I knew Angler Mystery fans couldn't be bad. Not to judge a okay. garden of gourmet. Uh, yay! Will of preservation. <laughs> Drop by the realm keeping commission if you need help.
Nice. 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 Nice.
quality, good price, hassle-free chartering. High-end, <laughs> the best choice for galactic commerce. Looks like there's smoke rising in the distance. Miss Shikue sent us a Psycrane. See if you can get an aerial visual. This is an emergency. We need to find where the Star Skiff crashed as soon as possible. We found it. Looks like the pilot isn't inside. If they escaped before it came down, they should still be nearby.